Hello guys, have you ever worked on a project which required some kind of virtual wallet, some kind of virtual money or virtual points where people could redeem their points or their virtual money to buy something for example or order something. And from the other side it could be a coupon system, voucher system that they would redeem their vouchers to get that virtual currency and virtual money. So in this video I will show you three packages how to achieve that. Two of those packages are related to the Laravel wallet side. One of them is really simple, other is more complex and the third is for coupons and vouchers. So first I will show you how it works and then we'll dive into the code of the packages. So for example you receive some kind of coupon or voucher in a shop or maybe as a gift card and then you have those voucher codes in the database table. The value of the voucher is $79 for example. You redeem the code, you save and then add it to wallet $79 and you have a history of what was added to your wallet and now you have $79 in your virtual wallet. Then you go to buy some product, redeem the voucher, I mean redeem the money from your wallet, you choose for example Barbie 439 and then you can use my wallet balance. So if you click that the total price becomes zero and you can buy the product. This is a very simplified demo without real checkout but the data is in a database. So you can click buy, thank you for buying and then if you go to my wallet you have a balance left of $39. So that's how it works and by the way this demo was generated, the core part of this demo with the admin theme was generated by our quick admin panel which under the hood uses core UI admin panel theme based on bootstrap. So if you want to generate something like that including like user management, product management and similar cruds check out quickadminpanel.com. Now how it works under the hood. First I will show you the couponables package, Laravel couponables by Michael Rubel, Laravel certified developer and it's a pretty simple package to add coupons to your code. So you just require, install and then you have has coupons in your Laravel model. In my case it's product model and I add has coupons here. Then I've generated some coupons in the seeders. So I've generated coupon seeder which just creates a lot of coupons and that coupon is a model from the package. So this one, so here's how I generated the vouchers or you can use artisan command from that package and there are a few more features and then basic operation is to verify the coupon so whether it's correct or not by code and then you can redeem it. Also a few more functions like is coupon already used, is expired, so you can check that out as well. Now we go to two packages for Laravel wallet as I mentioned. The simple one is from Steven Jude called Laravel wallet and all it does basically is you add has wallet trade to the user model and then you can deposit or withdraw balance or money or points whatever you call that. And there are a few exceptions that can be caught like invalid amount or insufficient fund. That's basically all that package does so it's really really simple. But the package author specifically mentions much bigger package which is Bavix Laravel wallet which is older and with more functionality. But first let's take a look how I use this more simple package. So in the wallet controller of redeeming the voucher these are two things that I do. Redeem the coupon and deposit to the user wallet and redirect back. Actually there's another package that I will mention here activity. So that simple package for the wallet doesn't have any history. So that's why I needed to use another package. If we go to composer JSON, there's spotty laravel activity log. Basically you can log anything to the log like this for example activity wallet caused by specific user with specific properties and description. And then you can view that table like this activity where latest get and in the database you have database table of activity log with this structure. So that's another package which I kind of showed by the way, Spotty activity log. Now another package for Laravel wallet, the more complicated one, comes from Maxim Babichev and if we take a look at the usage, it's pretty similar, has wallet trade to the user model but then you have more functionality like balance, like force withdraw for example, to have negative balance possible and then you can have purchases for those wallets and some more functionality including the history. So for that package I didn't have to include activity log. Also it has separately wallet and wallet float. So you can read about that here 
Also interestingly, the package is supported by JetBrains, PHP Storm, creators, and has a lot of contributors. So how does it look in the code? Visually, it's the same. So redeeming the voucher and buying the product, so I won't even show it. But in the wallet controller, the difference is that I use deposit float with coupon value. And then if I want to get the activities, it has just auth user wallet activities. So I don't need a separate package. Or in fact, I haven't shown the purchase process. So I have showed the redeeming of the voucher, but not the purchase of a product. So that is done, by the way, with Laravel Livewire because it has dynamic capabilities of checkbox use balance or not. So for that, I use Livewire, but it's pretty similar to Laravel controller. If you're not familiar with Livewire, I have a few courses to get you started. So I will link the Livewire course for the beginners in the description of this video. But basically the method is this. I have the balance, I do some calculations with that. And then when someone wants to buy, this package allows me to just withdraw from the balance. So a pretty simple demo project, so I won't even put that on GitHub. My point was to show you two packages. Simple Laravel wallet, if you just need the deposit and withdraw or more complicated Laravel wallet with wallet float, history and stuff like that. Have you used any of those? Which one did you prefer? Or maybe you have another alternative solution? Shoot in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.